Welcome back, everybody. It's DJ Piracy again. And I just got a collection sent to me from my buddy DJ Rough Cut. So let's check out what kind of tapes we're digging into here. Now, as you can tell from the decorations, this is definitely some New Orleans stuff. Got some popcorn in case we get hungry. And check this out. So, we got some empty cases here. That's what's up. Got a Sporty Cheese Chrome Bell. Now this right here, I've never seen this before. Check it out. DJ Max Million. Unspoken vandals. What do we got in here? Check it out. UNLV. Six in Barone. Now this is missing the uh, J card, but this is the first issue of it. Because, uh, Right there it says UNLV instead of uh, CSH. Got another loose one. Let's see what we got. Two black. The game. Little one, but that's pretty cool. Can't read it, but you can still listen to it. That's what's important is the music's on there. And I've been wanting to hear a lot of this stuff. See what's in this next pack. Bum, who can I really blame? Nineteen Not familiar with this one. Let's look inside real quick. Check out that artwork. G Money Records. It's got J.R. Mac on here. He was in Disturb Young Hustlers. was a group uh, on Ice Mike's old label CNM Records back in the day and other labels too. Let's see, we got Born Suspect, Street Life, it's a 1996 release. What is going on with that picture? That's crazy right there. Look at that. It's like a winged dog or something. You got the number 666 over here on some kind of weird sluggish looking creature. Stacks of money on fire. Huh. This is going to be an interesting release. I'm, I'm not hip to this one. So this is 
definitely some cool stuff right here. Who else we got? The 49ers. Let's see this one pop up from time to time. And this is on uh, Buff Records. Uh, there's another one I got from that label. I forget what off the top of my head. I want to say it was AMS or something like that. All right. Oh, Master P, Ice Cream Man. Okay, this was definitely a classic. Everybody knows a lot of songs on here. Although Master P's maybe a little bit controversial when it comes to New Orleans stuff. There's a uh, mixed emotions there. We won't delve into that right now because there's three sides to every story they say so why get into something we can't cover in this video I'm just gonna show off the cool stuff like Lil Goldie right here like the donkey see Mobo Records had a lot of things going on with the colored cassettes this was yellow translucent We got coming soon, Kaylin. There was uh, going to be another Doghouse Posse album, although I've never seen that one. More Money Mafia from Fall 97. And that little Goldie, You Can Do It, Spring 98. I haven't seen that one either. Wonder if those ever got released or not. Become a Mobo soldier. Join the Mobo fan club. It'd be great if you could fill out like some of this stuff that these came with today and get them to like send you something back but a lot of those labels aren't even in business anymore so some of them are some of them came back etc etc sporty t rest in peace mr terrence vine which this was a good album right here Whoa, that's not Sporty T in there. Ha <laughs> ha, shoot, look at that. Pimp Daddy. Heck yeah. I didn't even, uh, man, that's what's up. I am not mad at that Miss Pack at all. That is super cool. Let's see what else we got. Ghetto Tears. Mr. Slim, but it's a compilation, so like a little bit of everybody's on here. Let's see if we got the uh, well, it mentions so we got X Con, Bottom Posse, Booby Black. Which uh, some folks from up here might have ran across him. You know. Got a song with Rated X on here. Bottom Posse is probably the most notable. At least uh, for what I'm familiar with so far. Ooh, what is it? Okay, check it out. We got Jacko. Now, he was from PMW. This is Soldier for Life. Definitely cool single right there. We got CeeLo. Whatever. Sounds like something my son would say. Special thanks to all the real ones. You know who you are. Says it was recorded at Power Move. That's precise right there. He was listed as an engineer. Not as a producer, though. He uh, Sice did a lot of engineering and stuff, too. He was... Uh, multifaceted in that regard you can see his name pop up on a few things so we had mentioned bottom posse earlier there we go they gotta pop me to stop me K 
can't barely read the name on the spine there. Color differences and all that drastic. That's a great looking tape there. Let's see what we got here. Executive produ producer Silky Slim. So Silky Slim, not to be confused with the other Silky Slim that was on Big Boy, which uh, she changed the name to just Silky later on. So. Uh, all right. Um, let's pull another one of these out. And thanks for this. This is awesome. I'm loving this. And great job on the packaging, too. I know it was not cheap to uh, ship this, but, you know, well packaged so they arrived safely. So we mentioned PMW before. This was The New Beginning, which uh, that's a title uh, I've seen on a couple of different albums by different artists. And this was uh, kind of late in the game. So it was uh, 1996, Hitting Hard, or Hard Head, sorry, my bad. Check it out, we got a group photo there. Oh, I've never heard this album before actually, but it's not that uncommon uh, from my understanding, but just late to the party on that. Let's see what else we got. Down South Hustlers, classic, classic No Limit album right there. I'm assuming that's what it is, we'll find out, but uh, I think there should be more tape in it for that. This might be another mismatch. It'd be exciting to find out. That'll be part of the adventure. Either way, I'm more than happy with whatever it is. Because I know it's probably... Alright, MC Spud. So, I believe this was his last album. Or like his fifth release. Uh, he had been putting stuff out since 93. Started on Mobo Records. And uh, then he had Cash Back on uh, Party Time with Warren Mays. Uh, well, the same label that Warren Mays put out a release on in 94. So, I'm only missing one from Spud now. I gotta track down Undertaker. But I got those other ones I mentioned. Uh, let's see. Okay, Master P. Now, this one... See, this... Okay, we'll talk a little bit about the No Limit stuff. <clears throat> well, this isn't really about any controversy or anything per se. Well, a different kind of controversy. So, this album originally came out like this was a much simpler J card. Uh, had a red spine. And, uh, matter of fact... So, losing it here. Stabilize, stabilize. Alright, so this is the original. And let's uh, put that case down for a second. We can kind of compare. See, they changed the lettering to green. Got a little blurry there on the picture of King George in the window. So, um, anyway, this is not a New Orleans release, really. But the 97 reissue here is kind of New Orleans-ish. Because uh, it was after No Limit was New Orleans instead of California. Richmond to be exact. So, um, 
they got a song, uh, two bonus songs, uh, one with Sea Murder, one with Mystical, and then uh, the best song on this one to some people would be Steady Being a Gangster. That was one of the ones removed because King George was on it. There was beef uh, there, so that's a great one right there. All right, we got Miss T, Hot Girl. This is an Untouchable Cartel Records release. That's a hot girl. Uh, it didn't used to be a Miss T fan per se, but she grew on me. Uh, she got some good stuff. So there were a few things uh, early on that maybe didn't get uh, put together as well as uh, the other stuff that I was into from Cash Money, or maybe it just took me a while to come around. I'm not sure. I got to listen again see how I feel nowadays, uh, G Money, Ghetto Drama, uh, I don't really know nothing about this one, this will be a new one for me, but it looks pretty cool, okay, it's just a picture from the front basically again, alright, what's this, oh, Trey 8, they scared of me, check that out, Smoke One Records. So, nah, here we go. We had amnesia for a fun time. Where's Rag Top Full Pack in the three nine? Brothers look So he actually had beef with uh No Limit after uh he had dropped the album on there and he was saying he didn't get his money. But long story short, apparently somebody at his label was getting that money. And uh, so that was some real big thing that blew up. And uh, I think uh, before Trey 8 died, rest in peace, I think uh, they might have squashed that between him and P because it was a little bit of different thing. But they had uh, songs out and everything. So this is great right here, Rated X. I showed this in another video. This is like an unofficial Big Boy album. Should have been on Big Boy in my opinion, but it's boot camp. Definitely boot camp. What else we got? Okay, uh, here's a post boot camp, boot camp-ish thing. You know, it's got partners in crime. Uh, one half of the Ghetto Twins on here. But, uh, and then uh, be shite on here too but uh this was south coast so precise post big boy where your baby daddy at smoke smoke Murder Inc. That's great. Got a little warm, but nothing wrong with a heavily loved tape. Show it even more love. DJ Jimmy. Y'all have watched this channel already. Y'all know about that one. Mr. Will. J. Card on the inside. Alright, we got some more, I think. Yes, we do. Everywhere we go, they say, well, that boot camp click ain't showing no love. And when they realize we don't care, we don't just say no. We too busy saying, yeah, about drinking, straight out the day box. Now tell the truth, do I look like a role model? Two appear looking up to me. For life, it's a camp, and I'm all about my money. See, I'm the type of brother that's built to last. You disrespect the camp. Right, we get a we got a J-Dog smoking and rolling. Keep selling, yo. Big boy release. Too sweet, not too bad. Check that out. 
Green metallic liner. Love stuff like that. Always gives the cassettes a little extra flair. So, it's a Tech Foe release. Tech Foe did that a little bit more often than a lot of other labels had uh, cassettes that would be neat colors or whatever. Threat. One half of Black Menace, Drama Time, and Succession. This is from as usual. And we got Strong Boot Camp presence on there. Got Kango Slam, Ghetto Twins, Tim Smooth, and Rated X. And we got the Dolomite. Hustler, Hustler. This was the second one. So most people are just familiar with the first one. I got that one before. We got Graveyard Soldiers. Love and Hate. Oh, look. Mr. Will coming soon. Have to keep an eye out for that one. Don't have to find Mr. Will now. Graveyard Soldiers, we got Day of Execution. Nice. Haven't really heard them before, so. Triple Trade Thugs, forever. This is one I missed out on a couple times. Definitely cool for this to show up. Check it out. Like the gold. Noise. Got in here. Okay, DJ Lil Daddy. Now this one right here, this is okay. First of all, DJ Lil Daddy. That's Baby T from the Ninja Crew. And then this, the cassette release has several songs that are not on a CD release. So we got 20 songs on here, 10 on each side. Definitely cool reason to be digging in the tapes is for extra tracks. So we got Low Down, Tales of the South. And what else is in the next one? Ruthless Juveniles. This one is also a new beginning title. So, uh, this little red cassette. So, this was a group that originally consisted of Death, who did a lot of the beats uh, for mobile records in general, but uh, and also Force Child and Little Ruthless. But uh, at a certain point, they uh, changed their members because of Child and Badness went to uh, jail, and uh, so Mobo Joe and uh, this dude named Scully took their places. Uh, Death was still in the group after that, I think. I haven't heard that album just yet, but uh, check it out. Gank D. So, that's another one been wanting to hear for a good little bit. 14 songs. 95, 96. You can see there's a couple of things there. Nine New Orleans, we got a West Side Connection, we got Do or Die, we got a blank tape to do what we will with. And Real 
There we go. Alright, we got another loose one. Wartime, the hideout. We got it ain't easy, but it's just a shell, but that's cool because I come across these tapes all the time. And I like the covers, I collect them anyway. Sporty T still going on. This was sort of a well, this was Sporty Records, just like uh, that other one still going on was on uh, his own label. So, uh, Saga continues and stuff. Hot Boys, it's just a cover, but it's another one I need to track down. Let's check out the artwork. Nice. It's a cool photo. Look how young they were. Juvenile was sort of a juvenile. He started as a juvenile. Lady Red, great tape, classic. Got that song smoking at it. Smoking that weed. LOG, G's and Soldiers. Tombstone Records, solid, solid, solid. Thank you so much. Uh, Legend Man, Pressure and Pain. As I said, Rough Era. And Sporty T dropped something on there too later on. PVM. Gamers would be into this. Gotta show this in the CRT Facebook group now. Unpredictable. Big Boy Records. Solid. The album that was originally 13 years. Alright, we got the concentration camp. I have to look for this tape, whatever. Gotta admit, I'm not really hip to a lot of stuff on here. Full pack. Let's get name on there. Okay, we got the big boy compilation BGs. Which uh, got the J Dogs label on here for some reason. Mystical Zion playing with you. Defunct produced. Got another J card here. DJ Moosh. I think that's how you say it. Chopper City. I got this tape loose somewhere. Definitely needed this J card. And we got a Street Soldier J card, which is awesome because the one I got is like a weird offset print, misprint. And looks like there's some more. Just like to get that knife, man. Pull these out. Okay, we got Rakim, 18th letter. Classic hip hop. Not New Orleans, but who cares? This is Rakim. Y'all so, know about this one. I don't know what I'm talking about. This is in super esoteric. Uh, got Joe Black, legendary release, mainly for. The, top, the uh, first track, it ain't where you're from. For the focus. South Coast Shorty. This is another SCMG South Coast Music Group. Right, so, straighten it out. YP. You down with all YP? Wait, that's not how it goes. Never mind. Uh oh. 
Tech Nine, straight from the ramp. Straight from Cash Money Records. Straight from New Orleans on the ground. Say, go, Willie Pucky, go, Willie Pucky, go. Doggy hot. There's some take four ads in there. This one didn't have all the crazy colors like the others. Juvenile soldier rags. So got a few songs that sort of got reprised on high. Pump the party. Everybody knows Pump the Party. Gotta love Pump the Party. Classic. Big boy records. Partners in crime. Can't go slim. Mr. Meaning. And we got Lil Slim. Formerly of Cash Money. Franchise player. Another MOBO release. Soldiers of Sorrow. Buck to the Bang. Got some Voodoo by Loki, another Tombstone release. Yup, yup. And still a couple more left. We got Serve on Life Insurance, another No Limit one. Classic one to a lot of people. And Big Al, Lil T, you know who I am. Another take flow. Classic take flow. And let's see, we got anything else in here? Oh, there's one we missed. What we got? Pimp Dog, who's that? Look, we got Kilo G and L.O.G on here. L.O.G is actually on two songs on here. Kilo G is on there. I can't wait to listen to this. L.O.G. right there. L.O.G. right there. Kilo G. Right here. Yeah. This is going to be great. All right. Well, that's all of them. So uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy seeing uh, what came in. Thanks again to DJ Rough Cut. And uh, happy holidays, everyone. Peace.